Welcome back, guys, and welcome back to our Market Moves uh, on MT4 webinar. Today is the 12th of July. Holy smokes, half the year already gone, done and dusted. And uh, as we uh, see at the moment, the euro turning much weaker. The European common currency losing a lot of steam here. Parity is not only in sight, but has been kind of really kind of touched already uh, early on uh, this morning. Let's have a look on the charts here. Uh, so far, we can observe that uh, the pin bar candle too good to be true from uh, yesterday or say from uh, last week, Friday. Then uh, yesterday kind of uh, really we traded at 101.74. Uh, 101 so 150, more than 150 pips uh, move to the downside. And uh, now the market, as in for the current trading day, is slightly in a sideways pattern. The question obviously would be if uh, that uh, supportive area, that weekly support range here, is currently helping us uh, uh, for the markets to kind of really regain some sort of momentum, potentially at least um, offering us uh, any sort of uh, upside motivation here for the time being it looks kind of a bad and the story obviously here parity inside is what uh, um, bloomberg uh, uh, calls the situation fueled by a, a stronger us dollar obviously the, the dollar turning stronger just mainly due to obviously a rate uh, uh, an array of rate increases another 75 basis points uh, is uh, an expectation somehow really here uh, for the next uh, meeting. Um, uh, the downward spiral has been kind of uh, quite strong and actually uh, quite uh, brutal, if you would call it this way, as the market has traded at around 115 in February. And um, the uh, um, obviously the uh, Federal Reserve interest rate hikes uh, caused some strong momentum in the dollar. And on the other hand, obviously also the uh, Russian invasion could be seen. Uh, it could be seen as something which uh, causes uh, the, uh, the trust uh, issue uh, in uh, Europe or for the Eurozone to fade somewhat, uh, causing the markets to kind of really uh, see some sort of weaker uh, momentum here for now. In the other, on the other hand, also obviously um, that weighs and causes and pushes up the cost for energy imports. Kind of obviously uh, the US uh, could be seen as a certain winner in the current situation, to some extent at least, uh, as they are able to uh, uh, to uh, uh, push their uh, fracking oil, whatever, sorry, uh, their, their gas and uh, also partly their oil obviously to the Eurozone and uh, uh, since the demand uh, has changed, has been adjusted quite away from Russia directly, obviously um, uh, the US is uh, broadening their standpoint on global geopolitical tensions level. On another note, I saw something that um, on the GEM website, I think it was from Iran, and now uh, the story unfolds a bit further. So we uh, have to see how dangerous this uh, situation goes on here. Iran is uh, supporting drones uh, to Russia, several hundreds at least, it seems to, seems to be. So as uh, one side, the Western world, the Western allies are standing together with increasing the weapon deliveries. I'm not really sure if that's really a way moving forward in general anyways. We can observe that now uh, maybe also behind, uh, behind closed doors, China has been supporting Russia potentially at least, and uh, now some information um, uh, regarding this are uh, coming from Iran. Obviously, we have to see where this information comes from. The war of news, obviously. I used to work for that uh, company, for that German broadcasting corporation, so I have a slight biased view about that. Um, obviously, the number one idea is first, uh, in a war a situation, just to uh, capture the radio and television station to broadcast your own piece of news. Um, this piece of news uh, that Iran is delivering drones to Russia comes from the US. Remember well that uh, the US were the first ones back in the days also to say these weapons of mass destruction uh, destruction in um, uh, Iraq based uh, back on the days Saddam Hussein. You guys remember how the story unfolded 9-11 war on terror and all that so we can see obviously on how the Americans that's at least my uh, my core point of view how the Americans are trying to defend um, sorry to say but how they are trying to defend their world uh, number one world power to me that's also why this war in, uh, in some part is happening as it's just uh, the uh, bit of a struggle from the US but definitely the geopolitical tensions US maybe not so much Russia, but also China, and uh, on how the US are trying to defend their, um, their, uh, their, uh, their um, uh, 
well, their, um, their big situation, their big uh, world power in general. That's on that side. And that's now what we can see uh, on uh, and about the US dollar. The, the euro a dollar is turning somehow weaker. We can see the same is happening also for the pound. Also the pound turning to the downside. Uh, yesterday I talked about it when the market would uh, kind of freely, or if the market could have uh, could have traded, uh, would have traded above the high here, above the 120.20 area, you could have seen this market turning towards more higher levels. Uh, that uh, was just a bit of a history say, and not going to happen. The market in the end, uh, or again, pushed back to the downside, uh, the causing in this case here also uh, any sort of other currency pair to weaken further uh, as the uh, US dollar is just uh, too strong here against most other uh, currencies. And obviously that um, translates here uh, towards the, um, um, the pound US dollar turning again to the uh, downside. Elections uh, taking place in the UK at some point, so we'll see how this one unfolds. I'm not sure if that's really a big piece of news. I think it's just general US dollar, the strength which we can see. Euro dollar, as I said, weaker, pound weaker, the Australian dollar turning to the downside. Even precious metals have been trading towards lower levels. Our trades didn't survive that uh, small stop loss. That was the a general idea should the market have started to appreciate uh, somewhat uh, much more towards higher levels. We could have seen a much further appreciation here in the silvers market. In this case here, obviously, we can observe that uh, the market is now starting to fade even below the uh, 19 area. Uh, levels kind of where we'd like to um, fundamentally or say um, strategically also purchase more physical silver uh, gold not that much at the moment but it looks like to me the markets have fallen a fair bit so let's see how much more downside we could see and how much more negative motivation might be here to come at least uh, for the uh, silver uh, market on the other hand also the stronger dollar is pulling the uh, oil markets to the downside. We can observe oil is turning again weaker. So I think it's just uh, some technical uh, correction here, which we can observe. First of all, of course, the long-term chart could be seen as the market is just uh, flipping to the downside. Again, here, a risk push to the upside, pin bar candle, and now the market starts uh, weakening somehow further. We have this pin bar here on the uh, oil market, the bullish pin bar on the weekly chart, but uh, it seems to be that uh, the market is still kind of also below the 100 round number. In this case, we see several reasons, obviously, for the markets to potentially uh, turn again to the downside. And I think it's just a bit of a matter of time here for the markets to correct a little bit further. Obviously, right now, seemingly comparing comparing this to stock markets we have uh, we have seen that the markets have not really started appreciating somehow further so any sort of slight push to the upside might at least for now be uh, taken into consideration as into any sort of selling opportunity and that's uh, what I would see makes sense here at least uh, looking at it from this uh, oil market uh, perspective so far. The Canadian dollar is not really reactive much we can observe the uh, the euro has been trading weaker. I think that's more to do with the uh, US dollar, euro dollar, the currency pair, while the market is turning to the downside here. Not so much of a different uh, observation here from my side. On the dollar, Canadian dollar, however, we might see still that our trading opportunity just uh, remains uh, intact or kind of really gets uh, executed. The uh, um, sell stop is uh, where the green line is kind of really uh, can be seen in the market here, 28. Uh, uh, 128.80 the market motivation kind of tells me that still should we see further appreciating uh, oil market we could see that the canadian dollar it uh, takes on much more strength so resistance trend line is clearly where we are trading at right now and uh, should we see that this trend line is just uh, being broken to the downside here or kind of really being retested as it is right now not being uh, pushed to the upside we could see that this market kind of really turns lower. At least that's how I plan my trade. Um, another opportunity, a bit of a higher, slightly higher risk opportunity would be also um, for, or kind of would be at this entry area. So that also would make sense to me here, uh, should be see and should be kind of really, uh, kind of want to enter the market a bit earlier, 29.30 
would give us a, a bit of an earlier entry opportunity. However, looking at it from this pin bar perspective here, anyways, the pin bar is a bit hidden, right? So it doesn't have much uh, a room sticking out to the left side. That's exactly what I mean here, right? This room here, it usually should stick out to an area where the market has not traded before um, to some extent. We can see that here, there's quite a bit of space where the market see, to the left side all the way has kind of really uh, uh, stick out to the upside and hence obviously this is uh, telling us that there is a potential turnaround candle or that makes up for a potential turnaround candle the question obviously on the other hand is right now if this uh, current pin bar candle is uh, really qualifying seemingly the same may away but uh, we shall see so should the market turn lower we might take uh, and get into our trade here for now um, that's actually all, more or less all I see in markets right now. Stock markets are pretty much slightly bearish. I wouldn't see anything of interesting opportunity apart from the longer term trades, which I've uh, communicated also in the recent couple of days. Dollar cat could work out well. We have something in the German DAX here. So, should we see any sort of slight positivity? We could see that the, the German DAX could. Uh, increase in value just uh, above the uh, uh, one uh, sorry 12,985 area bit of a supportive trend line here again this pin bar candle is quite uh, nicely uh, defending also recent trading environment right so the market traded at this area a couple of uh, um, weeks ago here and now we have uh, tested the same area should the market start to appreciate a little bit and that's also why I like the current uh, a weekly candle here so far. Early days of the week here, Monday, say, slash Tuesday for now, slightly lower. Should the market start appreciating a little bit, we could see that this market turns to the upside. So that's exactly why I would say this market motivation uh, could give us some sort of uh, upside motivation here. And that's the other trade which I would have here for now. In general, as I said, I believe that uh, uh, stock markets could slightly negative here we see a bond yield started to appreciate a little bit we can observe the bond market is still obviously a kind of a, a well at a resistance area here so that's a, a currently why the markets might turn slightly lower here slightly weaker yields could turn a, a stock markets towards some sort of upside motivation yet it's not going to be seen right so we can see we haven't uh, traded towards the new, new lows here, but um, I would say so far, should we break the, uh, say, 3,800, 3,750 area here, the downside trend could be uh, kind, of, kind of could be resumed here as we can observe it. Should the market, however, to the other hand, on the other hand, start to appreciate further, we might see, of course, that uh, another uh, positivity uh, can be seen. However, I think it's just a bit more of like a, a short-lived trend here. I don't see a lot of motivation happening here right now. In general, I would rather believe that uh, any sort of rally should be rather taken into uh, turning somehow weaker. Rotario, how will you trade the euro parity? Well, the big thing, the big question here, Right now, of course, uh, psychologically, we might say at one even, right? At parity, the market might see some sort of appreciation, but this is nothing, to be honest, where I like to get my hands dirty uh, into a long trade. I assume there might be quite a bit of a order of volume here. We might be in to uh, trading this on a shorter term basis. Looking at it from this perspective, the market smells to me a little bit like it would like to appreciate a little bit but how much do we get here right i mean we could see that potentially uh, say 100 pips to the upside which would be a lot obviously is uh, what we might say i would rather say let's wait for the market to appreciate potentially and then start uh, applying some selling pressure here in the near future guys that's my take for the time being thanks everyone for tuning in obviously back here on a regular basis I'll get back to you with the latest by tomorrow. Please keep in mind also tomorrow we have two special webinars. We're talking about the consumer price index and obviously from the Canadian side, the Bank of Canada interest rate decision. So long day today, uh, sorry, long day tomorrow. And let's see what we can get here uh, out of markets uh, in the near future. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. Bye-bye.